Now that you have an understanding of the IELTS exam format, it's now time for us to present our IELTS Band 7 Plus course introduction. We're going to give you an overview of what you can expect to receive from this course. Now, this course will cover the academic exam, the general exam, and present information for the computer-based exam test. So when I say this is a complete course, I really mean it. If you're doing the academic exam, there's a syllabus for you. In addition to that, there's a general exam syllabus that lets you know what sections apply to your exam type. So what will you receive from this course? Well, we're going to definitely give you practical strategies and tactics that make your success on the exam much, much easier. The word practical there is very, very important because not only do I tell you what to do, I then demonstrate for you how it's done. The tactics and strategies are very practical. That means that they're easy to use. That means that they work on the exam. They're not just theory. They're practical, tried and proven strategies. Now, as you heard me say earlier, with this course, you're gonna get the academic and general exam information. We do give you a syllabus that explains what sections apply to your exam. In addition to that, we're going to, pro we're going to provide you teacher-led examples for the exam section questions. We're gonna give you some examples that are by me that are going to explain exactly how to apply strategy. You see, very often you may go to a website or read a book and they just tell you, this is what you do. But we are actually showing you step by step how to apply our strategies. In addition to that, we strongly believe that by taking this course, you're going to get higher scores. As you can see from the reviews, there are hundreds of students, thousands of students that have scored seven plus. In addition to that, you'll note that we have more than 3,000 five-star reviews. This is a very, very highly rated course because we give you a lot. We provide you everything that you need within a course. In addition to those things, we also are gonna provide you a few more benefits. As I said earlier, step-by-step -step strategy instruction. Other courses just say, do this, do A, B, C, D. In this course, I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through it step by step. In addition, we also provide a monthly live group class. At least once a month, there's a live group class where I'm going to cover a reading topic, a listening topic, or a writing topic. But it's a monthly live group class. And a lot of students really, really find that really helpful because they're able to be in a live session, a live group session, and discuss and talk about strategy application and practice along with me. So that's something that's really, really helpful for them. Finally, we make constant course adjustments. Unlike other courses, we are constantly monitoring the current exam for hints to let you know what they're focusing on more than anything right now. Okay, in regards to the listening section of this course, we're gonna focus on the following things. We're gonna help you learn how to predict the possible answer choice and, and notice when the correct answer is being stated. In addition to that, we're gonna provide you methods that have allowed our students to score 35 to 40 correct on the listening test. Now, of course, you need to have the requisite English ability to be able to do that, to match our strategies, but we've helped a lot of students achieve that goal. In addition, we're gonna help you to identify keywords and questions and how to connect those keywords to the answer choices. Finally, we're gonna help you by modeling how to listen and write answer choices simultaneously. Okay, now you know what we're gonna focus on in the listening section. So let's go ahead and move forward to the reading section of the course and let you know what we're going to focus on. 
we're going to teach you how to really identify keywords. Identifying keywords is really key to doing well on this exam. Because if you can identify the keywords in the question, you can be able to scan much easier through a passage and also have more accuracy in your answer choices. In addition to that, we're going to give you assistance with being able to relate or connect answer choices to synonym language. Finally, we're going to give you some techniques to help you to identify the proper strategy to apply to every single question type. Now, let's go ahead and move forward to the writing section. When it comes to writing, of course, you have academic task one and general task one. And for the academic, we're going to help you by giving you one organization, one type of structure that fits the process, graph, chart, or diagram. Just one structure, right? There's not a different structure for every single type. We're going to help you learn how to do this. For the general task number one, we're going to help you to be able to write and organize the general letter in a way that really, really impresses the examiners. Now, for task number two, we're going to give you a lot of modeling of how to present an essay that examiners want to see, and we're going to give you strategies and tactics that allow for you to have great time management and to express the highest skills according to the rubric. Finally, on the speaking course, we're going to do a lot of teaching and modeling of how to provide responses that examiners expect. In addition to that, we're going to give you direct advice from former examiners that graded IELTS speaking tests, and they're going to tell you what they're looking for on the speaking test. In addition to that, there's a lot of student practice that you can do inside of our speaking course. We have embedded student practice for sections one, two, and three, where you can self-practice all of our strategies and tactics that we teach you. Finally, we're gonna help you with avoiding those common errors in pronunciation, grammar, and lexical ability. These are the steps that you need to take to be able to really benefit from this course. Number one, take lecture notes. The way that I teach this course is just like you were in person, right? I've been teaching the IELTS exam for decades now. And really, it's up to you to be able to take course lecture notes. If you don't take course lecture notes, you're going to forget. You're going to forget a lot of the information because once, it's go once, it, once I say it, it's gone. And you wanna keep really good notes just like you're in the classroom. Also, it's very important that you immediately practice the strategies and tactics that we teach. When I teach you something and you see me apply it, then it's time for you to go practice doing the strategy, applying the strategy. Also, after you've learned everything, make sure that you really simulate actual test conditions. I've heard so many students come to me and say, well, in my reading practice, I'm able to get uh, 35 correct. But then when I go take the real exam, I'm only getting 25 correct. What's wrong? And very often they're not simulating the actual test conditions, which is really, really important. Finally, not finally, but fourth, if I explain a strategy or a tactic in the course and you don't understand it, ask me questions to clarify. And then finally, create a study schedule. It's very, very important that you create a study schedule. This is going to help you to be consistent. I can't create a schedule for you. Only you know your, only you know your, your, time, your time commitments that you have. Only you know, you know if you're only able to study on the weekend or during the weekday. You have to be able to create your own study schedule and really, really stick to it. I'm your instructor, Kino Campbell. I designed this course, and you can see from these three parts that I am very, very well qualified to be able to teach you 
how to have success on the IELTS exam. Coming up next, you'll be able to look at our course syllabus, the academic syllabus, and the general syllabus. If you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask. Thanks for joining us, and I'll talk to you soon.